Yo, what's up guys? Terrell here, here to bring you the update of manga and DVDs and whatnot. Um, <laughs> I just actually got back from class um, taking a test that I was late getting there for. So, if I don't seem as hyper, uh, that's why. I'm trying to do this video first, that way I'll get more in the mood when I have to do the skit dance and Bakemon episode reviews right after this. So, uh... First thing is I said I would make a video when I got this, and I got it, volume 13 of Meh, but uh, Phantom, okay, Phantom, Chimera, Halloween, Peta, or Peta, and Roland. Uh, I actually like this. It's a cool cover. This covers the rest of the Jack fight. I think the, it, it covers the Jack fight, the, the ending of the Jack fight, the Chimera fight, the Roland fight, and like the first half of the Pump, uh, Halloween fight, or Pump, as we find out Halloween's real name. Um, I think the only thing I will say in terms of the volume, I like I also like how Roland and Alves are on the back. If you understand the connection between those two, you know why those two are on the back together. But uh, the only thing I will mention uh, when I was rereading these. Because I have all of Mare now. Uh, I noticed that I think I prefer the anime version of Mare a little bit more than the manga in terms of fights. Because the fights are really quick in here. Like, really damn quick. Like, they're separated within chapters, but they're still quick fights. Uh, if you want to ask me what my favorite, uh, I guess, final battle, Team Mare versus, you know, the chess pieces fight, is probably the Peta fight with him and Nanashi was cool. The Halloween fight was just like ridiculous. The Chimera fight with Dorothy was pretty cool, and I actually like the Jack fight. I actually like all the fights. No, I like all the fights, but I don't think I have a. I, no, 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 this is a lie. I think Ginza is my favorite purely because of the Puss in Boots reference uh, that, I, that that's in it. Uh, if you've seen that fight, you know what the Puss in Boots reference is. But it's actually pretty funny and pretty cool. Uh, Ginta X Alvis on my uh, main channel when I did the Mayor manga series of you was kind of freaking out because there's a lot. This is one thing about Mayor I forgot to mention. Mayor has a shit ton of fairy tale references. And I don't mean fairy tales in the anime, I mean like literal fairy tales. Like Puss in Boots. Uh, hell, even some of these characters in themselves have it. Uh, but I think some of the like, earlier characters do. Like, you know, you got the whole castle. Literally almost like Little Red Riding Hood, Dorothy. From the Wizard of Oz, but she's a witch in this series. Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk, because he's a plant manipulator. It's like that in Belle, like Tinker Bell from Peter Pan, which is the name of the fairy that hangs around Alvis. Um, I'm pretty sure Edward and, and Alan are, are, are joking themselves, but I can't think of the, the fairy tale right off the top of my head. Mind you, I just took a test on visual basics, so I'm not totally in a fairy tale kind of mood, but that's a cool thing about Mare. Got volume 13. I have a complete, complete collection. Now, for the thing that the DVD I have that is an anime related, um, I, I, I'm just going to say a, a simple phrase, and then we'll see if you get it without me using the inflection that, this, that the show made it famous for. I'm rich, bitch. I'm rich, bitch! Uh -uh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for those who don't know, I am a Dave Chappelle fan, and I figured I'd get the first season uncensored on DVD. Because I don't need to watch my shit in 1080p. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, this is Chappelle Show, uh, season one. Um, the discs are pretty basic. They're just kind of like white. I don't know. I like Chappelle Show. Uh, in terms of series, I need to get a lot of things. Uh, my main goal is to get the entirety of Chappelle show. I feel like, like the Boondocks will be next. Yeah, that uh, by the Boondocks coinciding with this, I don't know. But uh, I've, I've I've watched like the first eight episodes of this. I need to watch the second disc. Um, fucking, it's still funny. I think the only thing that doesn't make it as funny is because when I first watched it on Comedy Central, they censored it, so all you kept hearing was like. Beep! And like all the funny, like I don't give a fuck. It's like, like the, like the pop cocky, uh, pop, pop copy uh, sketch where it's like, why? Some people ask, why? Why treat the customer this way? Why? 
Because fuck them, that was why. But like in the in the old version, it was just like, that's why. <laughs> so I, you know the, the you know surprisingly the beeps do make it a little bit funnier, but it's still funny without the beeps. <laughs> oh god. Um, but yeah, it's Chappelle show. And the last thing that came today, which is the reason why I'm doing this today and uploading this today. Well, we'll see if I upload it today. Hopefully, I upload it today. Um, I got volume three of a series that if you've been on Shirley Job Alpha, you know everybody and their grandma's been bitching about, they need to put an alpha. They need to put an alpha, which is how I actually found out the series was already done. Apparently, it got canceled early and is 15 volumes long. Um, we, volume three is Siren, which I don't even think is out yet. Now, for those who don't know, I read the first 11 chapters of this originally before the manga was even licensed, which was like two, about, what, a year ago? Um, I've already passed the portion I read in Volume 2. Uh, so this is Volume 3. Uh, I believe the name character with the blue hair is Agea. Agea. Um, I'm actually reading that off of the back because I, it's been, this is the only thing I hate about Viz Bonger Volume releases. If you're reading this shit consecutively, you tend to forget the character's name unless they made a big impression on you. And Agea, and they're going with the whole street punk thing with it, with these two characters. So it's not like it's anything new. It's like the Yusuke style of fucking main characters. Like, and people go, but you remember the, you remember Utsuo from Itsuwari Bito? I was like, well, th there's a difference. I love Itsuwari Bito. I love Itsuwari Bito right off the first volume. This, which, holy shit, volume 5 comes out next week. Yeah, I mean, not next week, next month. Yay! But, uh, now, yeah, I haven't read this. Uh, the last thing that was in volume 2 was a, they... Is that uh, Agea had kind of like was probably really shitty with his own powers, and had, and created this uh and was and it's like it's like because these two used to be friends. These these two used to be really cool in the younger grades. He used to be really a bitch, but he became really tall and really badass, and he's cool. And he has pretty good grasp on his powers. Agea, even though he was the stronger one isn't really good with his powers and they're going with the whole he he, he he's not he, he has less control than old buddy but he has more power than him and that's the badassery of it all so uh i'm looking forward because we have 15 volumes of this left so we have like another 12 uh so yeah but essentially that's it that's all i got that's the three things i got the only thing March is kind of my dead ass month because I can't think of anything that comes out. The only thing else I have to look forward to is uh, I'm waiting for the for media blasters to get off their ass and tell us like what's the deal with Bakemon, you know, part two. I want my fucking Shujin Kai moments. Fuck you! Because I don't want to get the Blu-ray. I'm, I'm sorry, Bakemon just doesn't seem like a series that you would get a Blu-ray for. Um, I know Cat Planet Cuties comes out soon, like. It's either next month or it's either April or May it comes out. Uh, it's Wari Bito, Infinite Stratos. Uh, I think those are the main series right off the top of my head I'm looking forward to. And, that, and Funimation has yet to tell us. They've already put the uh, Is This a Zombie episodes like on Funimation's site. I'm just waiting for a dog release date, damn it. I want my DVD. I'm just saying, because I've seen Cat Planet Cuties. I think I might actually like that series more as a dub than a sub. And Infinite Stratos is about the same thing. It's like, I've seen those two series. Those series are meh. They're okay. But my, is this a zombie? That's my shit, son. Where's my Cory Wall zombie just with car, motherfucker? <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing to the window as if it's over there. But anyways, uh, let me go ahead and get into the Bogomon and Skid Dance reviews after this video. So, uh... This has been the Vlogs Game from your boy Trail, and catch you guys later.